Tyler, last name? Sorry. Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, Cajun okay. as fuck. Cajun as fuck. <laughs> it, it's like uh, the road Boudreaux out here. A hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, I, I already explained to you everything in the background. So first question, selfish question for me. All right. What was your very first beer? My very first beer? Vehicle. Vehicle was a Nissan Maxima, 2000 Nissan Maxima. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. What color? It was white. Why? How long did you have it? What ended up happening to it? I had it for about four years. Uh, so I got it my sophomore year. I replaced it sometime early college just to get a new car. Yeah, I just replaced it, traded it in. Nothing bad happened to it. <laughs> I did wreck it immediately when I got it, though. I like, within the first week of getting my license, I wrecked my car. <laughs> There's always something to everybody's first yeah. car. Yeah. Uh, that's I ask that because uh, Houston's known as Clutch City. Uh, uh -uh. City. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't okay. know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of our, that was like one of our city nicknames. Uh, we, we've had it for a long time. But everybody thinks it's because of sports or something like that. And it's not because of cars. Oh, okay. Houston has the most manual drivers per capita. Of any that other makes city, sense. Any other city. Is there a big street racing scene here? Uh, so there's, a, there's an event called Texas 2K, and then whatever year it is, the last two digits of the year, and motherfuckers from all over the world come here. That's awesome. That's awesome. I um I did. I ended up at one point getting what was my dream car at the time, which was a 2007 uh, Subaru STI Blue. Subaru Blue, it was just, it was the perfect car. Did you have the pink emblems on it? No, it was the red, just the regular red yeah, STI yeah. emblem. Okay. Uh, it had black rims. Dude, it was the dopest, dopest car ever. Ended up, the insurance was more than my car note. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it didn't, I had to get rid of it. It was too expensive. Oh, man. But yeah. At least you owned it for a little while. Yeah, <laughs> then I went down to a 94 Acura. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I drove manual. I drove only manual for about 10 years. That's dope. Yeah. Okay, so, so a lot of people I've asked that question to have not like, driven manual. Yeah. And I've got, I've interviewed a, a few international comedians. Okay. And bro, the first car was like a fucking tractor. Yeah, for sure. This fucking yeah. girl in Ireland. First thing I actually drove was a fucking track. <laughs> <laughs> so I know about clutches. <laughs> or, or, uh, there was this Russian guy. He had a Skoda, Skoda, uh, which I really fucking love. It's like a little Nissan 240. Okay. Like Those 240s are dope. I love them. But okay, so that's my selfish question. Oh yeah. And that's why I asked that. Second question, who should be about comedy? So I want to know is. You know, is there a piece of advice that an older comic or mentor that has helped you along your path, given you that really stuck with you and resonated like in you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, what would it be? Yeah, absolutely. The, the biggest one, I think, is uh, don't compare yourself to your contemporaries. Very good. Or, any, or not just your contemporaries, but that is such a trap to fall into as a comedian, is comparing yourself to somebody else, because all of our journeys are so different. So different. Yeah, and it's real easy to be like, why ain't I getting booked like that guy? Mm -hmm. We started together. But like, the truth is, is that's not your journey, right? And okay. the best thing you can do for your mental well-being is to just make sure you're not comparing yourself to others, and when you are, you make sure that that manifests in a positive way for you. So if you do find yourself comparing yourself, then make it, you know, light a spark under your ass, right? You got to turn that energy into something positive. Absolutely. I always say it's we, not me. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. It doesn't even matter if you're on my fucking team or not. Yeah. And it's, it kind of goes with what Dan said earlier tonight. Uh, it's basically the don't be a dick. Yeah. Like, like keep your ego in check. Because uh, there's a lot of fucking haters in the scene, of course. Well, I don't really know about Louisiana scene, to be honest with you. But uh, comedy as a whole. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And we all have the same goal, but the goal is not defined for right. everybody. Right. Yeah. We all want to just get famous and work and, I think, essentially get paid for being ourselves. Yeah. That, that's that's the, the goal for me is to not, not have to work for someone else. If, if I can figure that part out, everything else is extra. To be honest with you, I probably wouldn't be as far as I am if I didn't have a camera. Yeah? And I wasn't like really trying to like push
to like try and do certain things. Yeah, you need that outlet, man. Yeah. Well, not just for me, for other people. Yeah, that's awesome. Other, other people want 4K quality in their fucking video, yeah. not whatever the fuck we're rocking here. No, I know. I, I, I pay for the videos here sometimes. I know how bad they are. Sure. <laughs> but the thing is that I worked here. Yeah, so why not? Why can't they just up it a little bit? Get a camera. It's all good. No shame at all. Yeah. It might seem like it, but there's no one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Get a 4K camera. Come on. Who's paying the bills around this motherfucker? I mean, it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, man. That was awesome. Really Thank you so much, it. man. I still see you, chicken. Gonna come out. Oh, no, man. Can't promise you nothing. I'm just happy to be a part of it. <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. It's good to see you, chicken. Likewise, man.